Development of the Russian high-thrust turbofan aircraft engine. PD-35 started in 2017, marking one of the most ambitious initiatives in the history of domestic aircraft engine manufacturing. The aim of the program was to develop a high-performance propulsion system within the 35-ton force thrust class, capable of satisfying the demands of future wide-body passenger aircraft and large transport airplanes. PD-35 was conceived as the first Russian-produced engine of this magnitude and simultaneously as the cornerstone for a comprehensive family of engines spanning a thrust range from 24 to 50 ton force, thereby guaranteeing sustained technological independence from foreign power plants. By early 2025, the program had entered a crucial stage, transitioning from the validation of calculated performance parameters to the assessment of the service life and reliability of essential components. This shift signified a move from theoretical confirmation to practical operational maturity. A major turning point in the PD-35 program was the development of a technology demonstrator engine. This demonstrator was assembled in 2023 and served as the central component of the original comprehensive test campaign. In 2024, it successfully concluded the first stage of ground testing at the all-weather open test stand OS-5 in the settlement of Novieliadi near Perm, Russia's largest test facility for engines in the 50-ton thrust class. During this phase, the demonstrator executed over 50 engine starts, consistently attaining takeoff power. The results verified the achievement of the target thrust of approximately 35-ton force, confirmed the accuracy of the chosen design solutions, and exhibited strong concordance between the actual and predicted performance metrics. These tests additionally enabled the validation of over 20 innovative technological solutions. They also allowed the evaluation of thermodynamic and mechanical parameters and the performance of endurance assessments on bearings and composite components. Key technologies essential to the PD-35 program are being advanced by leading research institutions within the sector. Among the most significant contributors are the Central Institute of Aviation Motors, named after P.I. Baranov, known as CIAM, Russia's principal research center for aircraft propulsion systems, and the All-Russian Scientific Research Institute of Aviation Materials, known as VIAM, operating under the National Research Center Kukarchov Institute. These organizations play a critical role in the development of advanced heat-resistant alloys and composite materials. As a result, PD-35 has evolved into an interdisciplinary initiative that consolidates multiple research institutions. It is not only an engine development effort, but also a foundation for establishing long-term expertise in material science, manufacturing technologies, and advanced design methodologies. By the beginning of 2025, PD-35 had developed into a comprehensive and well-defined modular engine platform. At its core is an integrated gas generator based on the scientific and technical groundwork established for the PD-14 engine used on the MC-21 narrow-body aircraft. One of the most notable features of the project has been the extensive integration of additive manufacturing technologies. Throughout 2025, more than 2,300 components for the demonstrator engine were produced using selective laser melting and hybrid forming methods. These components underwent comprehensive evaluations of geometry, durability, and operational lifespan in accordance with anticipated certification standards. The engine's material composition includes nickel and cobalt-based superalloys in the high temperature section. It also incorporates a newly developed domestically produced alloy for the low-pressure turbine shaft, as well as titanium and aluminum alloys for structural casings and assemblies. Particular emphasis has been placed on composite materials used for the fan blades. With a fan diameter of 3,100 mm, the use of composite blades enabled a weight reduction exceeding 600 kg compared to conventional titanium blade designs. 
This reduction significantly improved the overall efficiency of the engine. In 2025, the program advanced to the second phase of bench testing for the PD-35 demonstrator. During this stage, the focus shifted from confirming performance parameters to evaluating durability and reliability, particularly for components produced using newly developed domestic materials. Engineers from UEC Aviad Vigatel examined the behavior of high-pressure compressor blades, compressor assemblies, and the low-pressure turbine shaft. Testing was conducted under maximum load conditions with repeated evaluations of stability and consistency, which are essential prerequisites for scaling production and progressing towards certification. According to statements from Rostec Management, issuance of a type certificate for the PD-35 engine is not expected before 2027 or 2028 at the earliest. This certificate is the formal authorization required for mass production and integration into aircraft programs. Certification represents a decisive milestone. Only after its completion can the program transition from experimental development to full-scale industrial manufacturing and operational deployment. Achieving this goal requires extensive endurance testing, refinement of operational reliability, and validation of manufacturing processes. As of 2025, no aircraft has been certified or officially approved for serial production using the PD-35 engine. The most frequently discussed concept involves a modernized version of the IL-96 wide-body aircraft powered by two PD-35 engines, resulting in a fully domestically produced long-range airliner. This concept, however, remains at an early study stage. There are no confirmed contracts or finalized aircraft development programs associated with it. As a result, PD-35 currently functions primarily as a technology demonstrator and development platform rather than a power plant intended for near-term installation on a production aircraft. Alongside the PD-35 program, 2025 marked the formal launch of development work on a derivative engine designated PD-26. Rather than being a clean sheet design, PD-26 is being developed directly on the technological foundation established by PD-35, allowing engineers to reuse proven solutions, materials, and design approaches. PD-26 is intended as a more application-oriented next-generation engine. It is designed for installation on a future heavy military transport aircraft with a payload capacity of approximately 100 tons, as well as on a long-range wide-body passenger aircraft. The engine architecture emphasizes modularity, unified gas generators, extensive use of additive manufacturing, ceramic matrix composites, and active blade cooling systems. These features make PD-26 more realistic in terms of development timelines, cost control, and readiness for real-world deployment compared to the larger and more complex PD-35. Beyond aviation, PD-26 is also being considered for ground-based energy generation systems and gas compressor installations. This significantly broadens its potential market and aligns with official statements that developing an engine for only a single aircraft type would be economically inefficient. Based on currently available information, several conclusions can be drawn. The PD-35 program has already fulfilled a critical strategic role by establishing a technological base for high-thrust engines and strengthening advanced competencies within the Russian engine manufacturing sector. It has effectively transitioned from an isolated development effort into a foundational technology platform for future engine families. At the same time, given the challenges associated with certification, the absence of a confirmed aircraft platform and extended timelines for operational deployment, it is likely that PD-35 will primarily function as a testbed and technology provider rather than as a widely produced operational engine. PD-26, which directly builds upon PD-35 technologies while targeting a more moderate thrust class and clearly defined applications, has a higher probability of entering service earlier. It is expected to become the first engine 
to translate the technological achievements of the PD-35 program into practical operational use, whether in transport aviation, commercial aircraft, or industrial systems. In summary, the PD-35 program has achieved substantial technological progress. It has demonstrated the feasibility of advanced design solutions, new materials, and modern manufacturing methods while laying the groundwork for a future family of high-thrust engines. Although its direct entry into aircraft service remains uncertain, its strategic importance is already established, and its technological legacy is expected to materialize first through the operational deployment of PD-26. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.